All right, folks. What is up? This is one big bug, and I am coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator Two, and uh, we're going to continue on with our drive. Uh, and if you remember in our last video, we ricocheted our truck for 36% damage off of a train crossing guardrail because we didn't know that it was down. I didn't know. You guys probably saw it, but I didn't know. Um, and we also damaged our trailer for 7%. So. This, uh, this run's not, oh, god damn it. Wait, it's on L, isn't it? Yeah, it'll do for now. Whoa! What the hell? Since when? Oh well, great, now I can't shift. <sighs> I don't know what's going on with my controller right now, guys. Let me try and unplug it and plug it back in. Let me unplug that as well. Seriously? Ah. And it won't let me. And it won't let me. Even though it's working, it won't let me. It's like all my settings have gotten um messed up input wizard controllers sequential shift up shift down see that works fine Steering sensitivity it should not be out of control. <sighs> and see that that's moving fine as well. So I'm not sure what the hell the issue is with the steering wheel. Okay, now it's back to normal. Oh boy, I tell you guys. I'm not sure what the hell's going on right now. So, I had to walk myself to the hospital today. Nothing too serious that I know of yet. I have an uh, interesting rash on my leg that burns a little bit. Only a very, very minor bit. It's like I can feel heat. And um, it's on my leg and it's on an undercurve of my uh, belly as well, which is worrisome. But the rash just may be the fact of where, you know, my belly and my leg meet because I'm sitting. Where I'm sitting, I don't have the, the space that I did in my other chair. And it actually constricts my legs a little bit and where I can uh, uh, put them. But I went and had a check by the doctor anyways. He gave me a uh, prescription for a fungal infection cream, yay, that uh, also is a bit of a steroid, I guess, and I'm to use it twice a week. I'm going to have to get it tomorrow, though. I uh, would have taken a half hour for it to get ready in the drugstore, and the drugstore is literally across the street. I could almost throw a rock and hit it from here. So, but it was a little bit of a walk for me. In all due honesty, actually, it was quite a bit of a walk for me. I was uh, fairly exhausted by the time I made it to the hospital, and I was very exhausted by the time I made it back. But I did it. I got there and back uh, fairly easily. Well, fairly easily, meaning, you know, no actual trouble or issues. 
you know what I'm saying? Just my usual exhaustion. What the hell? What the actual hell was that? How did this happen? Please tell me this little input. Thank you. How the fuck did that shit happen? That's cruise control. High beams. Pad up, beacon joypad down, horn, air horn, light horn, wipers, D pad right, cruise controls that. Let's just kind of go from the top here. Joy A, joy Y, yeah, fine. Uh, shift neutral, shift in gearbox, start, stop engine, don't need. Engine brake, I don't need. It's automatic. It's done automatically. Lift drop axle is A. That's fine. Left turn Clyde. Right turn Clyde. Hazard can be H. Light modes. Is hat up. No. No. Light modes is that. That's hat up. That's hat down. Horn should be space bar. <clears throat> Light horn air horn. Wiper is D pad right. D pad eh. Somehow all my controls just got fucked up for no reason whatsoever. God. And now it's picking up the the pad. I don't I don't get it. It's very confusing. I love this little section. Apparently it's faster to go into the rest stop. At least that's kind of what it looks like. <sighs> I don't know. So, anyways, yeah, right now the, the rash is itching me a bit. Uh, but it was a bit of a walk there and a bit of a walk back. But the walk back, I walked along Main Street. Um, which is the street my house addresses for, even though the driveway is not on Main Street. The front door, the house faces Main Street, and it's just a, you know Main Street. I could spit spit on it from here. So, yeah, not a big deal when it comes to that. Uh, and I went walking down, and I found a few nice cafes. I found a Chinese restaurant where we ordered from. I know where it is now. Uh, there's actually a little Italian cafe up the street, which I want to check out because, you know, Italian. And I love Italian. Nope. Need to shift over. Way the fuck over. Pretty sure I can stay in this lane. Bus was making me a little nervous there. I will most likely have to slow down. Or not. That corner looked a lot sharper on the... GPS. Uh, anyways, I also found where the post office is. Not too far. I can walk there. Um, but yeah, it's not all that bad walking down uh, in that area. It should be a 
neat little trip if when I go. Like, I didn't want to go tomorrow, but tomorrow's probably going to be the best time to go. Uh, to go and get... There's a letter waiting at the post office for me. And I really should get it. Because it's an old phone bill and it has my address on it. And having your address on a phone bill is very important. I was getting it. If that plane's coming in at that angle, I think it's crashing. But, uh, no, more seriously. Um, we'll put some stuff up on Craigslist that my mom wants gone. And out of four items, I had interest in three of them. I sold one, which was a doghouse. Big doghouse. I just sold it for 20 bucks. Um, guy came, got it. Didn't even bother, you know, wanting to look it over. He just, here's $20, take it, and he's gone. So he got a dog house for his dog. I got a lamp. That's probably my friend responding to what I said before I started this video. I put a lamp up uh, for free. Somebody is interested in it. Unfortunately, I missed their call when somebody came by to pick it up. And uh, so they're going to try in a couple days. I told them I'd hold it for them. And... Uh, I got an apartment size wash and dryer I put up. Somebody said they were interested in it. And I said, yes, they're still available. And they messaged me back. I said, great, I think they'd be perfect. We'd like to come and see them. Your convenience. I said, you can come by anytime you want. I'm going to be here all day. And if I'm not here, then somebody else will be. And they can show it to you. And, and they never responded back all day today, which was rather disappointing. They didn't even give me a... Uh, a number to like contact them phone number this is going to be close stupid stuff 101 okay that's it <laughs> sorry folks I have an itch just under the back of my arm. I can't reach it. I need my back scratcher, which of course holds up my monitor. Still, I have not found a replacement for it because it needs to be the same thickness as the monitor and it also needs to run across the same length so it keeps the monitor uh, steady. Actually, I need something that tilts it up a little bit more on one side, but whatever. I make do. Oops. see anything in the mirror. Fortunately, we get to keep going straight here. Man, we are just bombing it this run, huh? Hopefully we're making up for some... Uh, oh, shoot. There we go. Hopefully we're making up for some lost time. And my frame rate's down again, but uh, there's not much I can do. Again, I'm, I can't remove the mod till after I finish this run. The sad part is when I remove the mod, it'll probably take me back to my home garage. Rather than keep me up where I drop this off. That looks like a sizable hill up ahead, doesn't it? I was listening today uh, on the news because I don't you know, pay attention to the news that much but at the hospital I didn't have much else to do so I was listening on the news to um, I guess they had some bombings in New York which of course is very tragic but then they did they did the whole political thing surrounding it you know Hillary Clinton Donald Trump and that was disgusting enough to hear that it's like do you really need to go through that do you honestly 100% need to bring up these two in it? But then I heard like Donald Trump say, "Oh, you know, I should be a, a news anchor because, uh, you know, I, what I said was going to happen happened." And and basically he was congratulating himself, and he seems to do this a lot, you know. And I don't know. I I've always believed that criminals, you know, it's especially bad criminals, not like every criminal. But, like, really, really bad criminals, murderers, multi-murderers, rapists, multi-rapists, 
um, things like that, they get a little too much preferential treatment, even in heavy lockdowns. You know, they get the best medical care, they get room and board, they learn trades, and they, you know, try and reform them, which, you know, a large part of that fails. But, again, you can only push down so far, yeah? I mean, you can't treat someone like they're less than human, regardless of what they did. But, on the other hand, if you think about what they did to other humans, and do they really deserve that comfort? Do they really deserve that? Do they really deserve to go to jail and then have a chance to... Yeah, my, uh, if you notice any frame skips there, uh, or my voice falls a little bit behind, was loading in the next area again, which mods have issues with that. But anyways, does the person that takes somebody else's life in cold blood or premeditated, you know, do they really, do they deserve... a greater right to live and reform and get out of jail whatever many years later and li continue to live their lives after they've taken one? I mean, you can go round and round and round and round on the, on the morality of this, but Donald Trump, the way he spoke when he talked about it, you know, this criminal, he'll have the best doctors, he'll probably have room service, and he'll be in the hospital room by himself, and all this comfort. And it just, for the first time in my life, I ever, I, ever, I really just, I fully sympathized with the criminal. You know, because usually there's, there's that moral ambiguity there. I've stumbled over that word a little bit. But still, the, the, the truth remains. There, there's that, there's that moral gray area. If you can reform somebody from what they do, then in, in many ways you should. But if that person's taken or you know multiple lives or he's raped multiple people, do they really deserve a second chance? Well, what about a third chance? What about repeat offenders? You know what I'm saying? There, there's that whole moral ground in there that you could argue yourself into circles. Now, not everyone like me will argue in circles. Uh, some people are very definite to they should be more harshly punished, and I can see the merit of that. And there are other people that say that they should have a chance. They should have that second chance, you know. And I can see the merit behind that as well so oh sh well it's all right I can yeah I can just keep going it's not a huge deal I mean it instantly recalculated a new route from here so Oops. <laughs> A little too close, huh? But... I really think that Donald Trump's going to fail. I don't think he's going to become president. I think that he's trying too hard to... Um, Sorry, I keep fussing with my wires, which keep getting in my way. And it's nearly causing me accidents. Okay. Enough. Enough. Enough wire issues. Stop. Okay. Well, I probably want to be in this lane anyways. Mother. Okay. 
You know, I think he's trying to be like the everyman a little bit. He's trying to just... He speaks clearly. He speaks his mind. I don't hear a lot of... No, this is just me personally. I don't also pay heavy attention. But I don't hear a lot of... Um, middle of the road answers, non-committal answers... I don't hear any of that. Is that a speed camera? I hope that's not a speed camera. Yeah, but I don't hear any of that from from Trump. You know, they asked him how he felt about immigrants, and rather than giving this long-winded speech about how he felt about immigrants, uh, he just said, you know, how he felt, what he thought we should do with them. But. His views are so... Uh, I don't want to say old-fashioned, old-school, that I really don't feel like there's a place for him. I don't know. The, the sad part when it comes to this political circus and this is truly a circus okay of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton I don't want either one to win. I don't favor either one. I used to kind of favor Hillary when she was first running against against Brock. I don't know. Something back then she seemed much more relatable to. Although, in the end, you know, I was also in favor of Barack Obama. I don't have any... Like, I don't vote. I would really don't take part, but... It's kind of like football. I don't watch football, but I have my favorites, you know, Patriots and whatnot. As we go way too fast. No, that's just how I am. I have my favorites, but I don't take any hard interest in it. And I was kind of hoping either Hillary or Barack won. And to be honest with you, with nothing more, nothing more would have been our first female or our first black president. And you know, other than that, I, I guess I kind of didn't care, but the stuff that's cropping up around Hillary and the way that Trump shoots off at his mouth all the time, I've really come down to I don't want either one to win. There's a lot of debate over Hillary's health. I mean, there, you get the picture of where the Secret Service was holding her up. And I don't mean just like she was leaning on I meant several guys were holding her from behind. Do I get a ticket here? I might get a ticket here. I didn't get a ticket here. Okay. Strange. You know, and, and then she collapsed while going into her van. So there's this whole question, uh, this rumor mill about her health. And Donald, meanwhile, just keeps blowing off at the mouth. And these are our presidential candidates? And never mind Hil Hillary's email scandal. That's just as ridiculous. I think I'm not getting a ticket because the speed limit's been 120 and I'm going 105. Just because that's where this truck comfortably cruises at. I usually cruise around 110, 5 kilometers faster. And I'll even go 120, but I'm in 12th gear and I'm pegging right at 1500 RPM. Which is, you know, I don't like to go over 1500. That's where I feel the trucks, any truck is comfortable, 1500 RPM.
sorry, I lost my train of thought a minute for a minute there, but <sighs> I mean, this, this is really kind of the first uh, presidential election where I don't want either candidate to win. You know, I didn't care if Barack or Hillary won as long as one of them won, and one of them did. Uh, I didn't want George W. to win either time, even though he did. And we all saw the result of that. I wanted Bill Clinton to win, and he did. You know, things like that. Um, but, again, I don't take hard views on it. This, this is the first time for me that's ever come down to, I just don't want either one. I just don't. I have my doubts about both of them big time. Big time do I have my doubts. Maybe I should get off the uh, political rigmarole now. I have a feeling that my bedroom is not going to be ready uh, by the time the inspection comes. Because the inspection is supposed to be Wednesday. And... Tomorrow's Tuesday as I record this. So unless they're going to do it all tomorrow, to which they have to rip down a wall, put up a door, fix the ceiling, fix a hole in the floor, get everything out of that room, you know. And there's a whole bunch of shit in front of my windows as well that needs to be taken care of. Unless they're going to do all of that tomorrow, which we haven't heard nothing about them coming to do that, then when the inspection comes, they're not going to get their two-bedroom uh, per, you know, per permission to make this a two to rent this out as a two-bedroom. They're just not. Now. I have no issues with that. I have no issues at all just setting up in the living room. I don't. I'm comfortable sleeping in the recliner. Uh, get an air conditioner in here to keep the room nice and cool. Uh, I got a nice little table to set up gaming. It's not great. I could actually use a real desk, but at least I have something. Um, it's not bad. I told my mom, I said, if I do end up getting a bedroom in there... I'm stealing that couch, the, the one with the recliners in it. So that's that's mine. I'm just gonna sleep on that. We have put some kilometers behind us on this track, haven't we? How we doing exhaustion wise? Whoa, we still actually have some time here. We still got some cruising time. Hopefully, again, because I'm going faster than what you're supposed to, hopefully this will make up for uh, being behind. Lots of stuff up ahead, so my frame rate's just suffering again. Of course, it's got to load stuff as well. Again, take out, I believe, just the traffic mod. Leave in the buses, leave in the trucks, leave in the trailers, and pro mods, and I should be alright. And if I take out the traffic mod, 
we won't see as many variety of cars and probably smaller trucks but again I don't pay attention to them too much oops I need to get over This is just pretty awesome as is by itself, you know. Just cruising along the road like this despite the load lag every so often. Just cruising the whole way, just highway running. In real life, this can actually get pretty exhausting. I remember when my dad uh, moved to Virginia and I went with him one time and it was just highway run, highway run, highway run, 500 some odd miles of highway. And the only thing, it could have been a lot more like a fall asleep kind, you know, maybe tiring kind, except for the truck that we were in it was, a re it was an older truck, older U-Haul dual exhaust like right under the truck so the pipes didn't run back that far insufficient mufflers so it was loud as a motherfucker the radio didn't work the truck was heavy old clang clang five speed shift uh, and it wasn't even the diesel kind it wasn't a diesel it was uh, just a regular gas powered engine a uh, four a 455.4 Oldsmobile engine under the hood and I know it was an Oldsmobile 455.4 because my dad had an Oldsmobile. Oh no, sorry, Buick. It was a Buick engine. Of course, maybe it could have been Oldsmobile. <coughs> but a Buick, Oldsmobile, GM engine. It was my dad's Buick. He had a uh, Buick 225 uh, convertible. It had a 455.4 under the hood. So, yeah, that was that was an interesting, long, and tiring run. Kind of a little bit like this. I'm starting. I might do a short American truck uh, video. Just do one run instead of two. That's because I'm already tired. Last couple nights, I haven't gotten to bed till late. Um. And today I got up early. Ticket? No? Okay. Oh, hey. I'm just going to bully you. Trying to go 50. This car in front of me doesn't seem to be going well, maybe. That seems like a speed up, slow down thing. Ooh, excuse me. Wee. Oh, we're out of the construction area. You can speed back up. But no more highway. Well, technically, you can call a road like this a highway. I think I can just keep going. Yep. Just bombing around him. Interesting that there's not a lot of traffic coming. I should be careful. There's a turn here.
Fortunately, they turned quickly. Rotary! Apparently I'm entering Germany, I guess? I think that's the German flag? I'm not sure. I'm terrible with flags, so please don't get upset if I get that wrong. Oh, we're at the ferry! Which apparently is really, really hard to load in. But we are already at the ferry. Wow, we covered some distance. We made it all the way to the ferry in this one episode. So I, I think we made up some ground. Well, it's because it's having trouble loading. Uh, hand, hand, hand. I gotta go put some cortisone cream on my leg, try and stop the itching. Really? We didn't get to rest. Why is it Joy Y again? Why is it Joy Y again? Is it? Is it down further? Camera controls, other activate. Trailer attach, D chat, detach. T and T only. Jeez. We gotta find the rest spot. I was wondering why we didn't get to rest, because normally I stop at a ferry if we have a ways to go, and we actually still have a ways to go. So whatever first rest spot that we come across, that's going to be it. And with luck, there's one just like right up here. I didn't see a rest spot at the ferry area, which is strange as well, because usually ferry uh, docks have rest areas. The fuck? Oh, it's a tugboat moving across the... Water that's above the tunnel. Okay. Not sure I want to be over here next to this wall. We're already back up to under five. That's, that's the beauty of towing only three tons. You know? We can get we can just get right back up to speed. And hills aren't that really that much of an issue. Of course it's more fun and challenging hauling heavy loads. But still, there is something to be said about only towing a very light weight behind you. As you can just get right up to speed and cruise. I'm pretty sure we're going to be ahead, way ahead of our delivery time. It would be, just be nice if I could find a place to rest. I always cringe a little bit at trying to look over the sides to see what there is because when you're playing on a controller keeping a truck going straight is pretty much nigh impossible you can get it once in a while but otherwise it really doesn't happen God, we have been cruising so well today that I, I've literally in my head got going, ain't nothing gonna break up my stride, ain't nothing gonna slow me down, 
Oh no, I've got to keep on moving. If you don't know that song, well, yeah, you're young. I feel old. Rest spot? Nothing there says anything about a rest spot. How could we not have a rest spot right now? I could have gotten gotten off and gone to that gas station for one. If I looked ahead. I haven't started yawning yet, so it's not in a dire situation. But it's not far off either. I don't know why I have my directional on. I believe this is the only way you can go. This is some serious driving. I wish all trips were this smooth, save for the first part, which ugh, wasn't very. Oh, well, now you move. <sighs> Actually, I'm supposed to go. Um, yeah, straight. Straight was the right way. Ah, oh, this gets so confusing at at intersections like this. It really does. Man, we are just thundering. But come on now, game. breakdown lane. Plus he'll slow down because I came that close. I hate when that happens. I don't know any highways that do that. I, I Well, actually, I, I think I may know a few, but not like that. Like the double highway that br branches off. You know, you get a four-lane highway and then it branches off into two two lanes. I've had that happen, but not where you just come around the corner and suddenly off-ramp. Sorry, I'm not trying to, like, muscle you out of the way. Okay, game. I'm just going to throw this out there. Bring up the map. We need a place to rest. Alright, good. We are almost at a toll booth, of course. Which have rest places, so... That'll work. I'm just wondering... No, we're not red, which is surprising. I feel like we should be. Oh, uh, in 37 minutes, we would actually be... That is not what I hit. That is still not what I hit. I really don't want to come out from behind these guys, because I want to make sure I can get into the rest area at the uh, toll booth, which is right up the way here. We more or less had about another 30 minutes before we started yawning. Because you start yawning and uh, getting warnings when you're an hour from, you know, going over time. Huh. <coughs> okay. Does this count? Yes. That's not what I hit. There we go. Now let's just take a look at the map here for a minute. Let's just zoom way out, as far out as we can. Okay. No. I did not do that. So stop. We started 
like back here. Unfortunately, it's not going to show us, but we came through Paris. I remember seeing Paris at one point, so we were back at like Tours or Le Mans, I think. And we came up all this way in just two days. And one of those days, I lost a lot of time. It was probably up and around here, somewhere in this area, that I slammed into the railroad. Which means I made it from this area all the way up here. Damn it. Stop that. I keep forgetting which button. <coughs> and w look, we only have 576 kilometers left to go. I could do the whole trip in one upload if I wanted to. I, I don't. So we're going to hit Stockholm on our next trip. Yeah, we're going to get Stockholm. Um, basically, what I'm saying is this run ends uh, tomorrow. So, wow. Wow. That's pretty impressive. And one thing I want to see real quick is how long we have. Uh, 15 hours... And the uh, expected drive time is nine. We got about a six hour window there. Uh, so that's pretty good considering the big screw up we had. Although, again, 7% uh, damage on the trailer that I know of. So that's going to hurt the bottom line pretty hard. But anyways, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, lovely... Uh, highway run.